Hi, this is Kelly Sparta. Uh, and today I want to talk to you about clearing illness from your energy field and you know how the healing process works. Now, when you're doing healing work for other people, it's different than when you're doing healing work for yourself. And so if you're early on in your spiritual journey, I'm going to encourage you not to be doing healing work on other people because you are likely to trigger stuff in yourself that will get bound up in the stuff that you're finding in other people. And then you're not a clear channel and then you're not very good at your job. So what I'm going to focus on now is focusing on the inner healing process. If you are further along in your journey and you are doing work on others, then, you know, that's a different conversation. And so I want you to just focus on this one right now. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about that, by all means, reach out and, you know, schedule a discovery call. I'm happy to talk to you about that if you're further along in your journey. But for those who are looking to do healing work on themselves, what I want to talk to you about is the inner healing process. And, and that's, it's actually remarkably hard to do energy work on yourself. And you know, it's very easy to send loving healing energy to yourself, but to actually do healing work on yourself, it is not difficult to do, it is difficult to believe. And so the lighter your hold on reality, the better you're gonna be able to do this. But for those of us like me who have very solid grips on reality, which many of my listeners are gonna to relate to, um, the, the hardest part of doing self-healing work is believing that it's going to work because if you don't believe it works, then it's not going to work. And that's the problem. Okay. So keep that in mind. If you know that you can't believe that you can heal yourself, then don't try. Don't try to do that. Get healing work from other people, you know, whatever it is, or just send yourself loving healing energy. And if you can receive the loving healing energy without believing that you will be healed immediately, then you don't have to worry about that. If, however, you can at least suspend your disbelief of the ability to heal yourself, then you'll have a chance of this actually working. Okay, so let's be clear, belief matters. Okay. It's a very simple process. I learned it from a podcast. <laughs> um, this particular piece of healing work I learned from a podcast that was done uh, years ago by a guy uh, being interviewed. The guy being interviewed was uh, the guy known as the Mad Russian in the Boston area. And uh, his name is It Sucks. I can't remember his last name. I apologize. But if you look up the Mad Russian on Google, you will find him. Okay. And so uh, this process is a process that he described to remove cancer from somebody's body. And I have found that this process actually works for a remarkable amount of things. And the idea is that you get the person to bring up the energy of whatever it is that you're trying to, to clear. So if they had cancer, he would have them, he would bring them into a, a hypnotic state because he was a hypnotist. Um, I, I should say he's probably still a hypnotist. I haven't looked him up in a while. So, um, but, so he's a hypnotist. So he'd bring him into a hypnotic state and he would have them bring his, bring their awareness to all the cancer cells in their body. And he said, energetically, that causes those cells to light up so that you can see them all. And then what he does is he just pulls them out. He magnetizes them out of the body and just pulls them out of the energy field of the person. And that process of pulling them out of the energy field of the person actually heals the cancer is, is his assertion. I have done this with COVID with friends of mine who have gotten COVID. I've pulled the energy of COVID out of their bodies. Now, again, this is only going to work if they believe it can happen and if they allow it to happen. Sometimes people are manifesting an illness because they need to be sick, because they need an excuse to relax or to take a break or to not have to do. Uh, so oftentimes we will manifest illness for that purpose. So it's only going to work if one, you believe it'll work and two, they believe it will work or at least will suspend their disbelief and allow you to, uh, to make it happen. So um, 
And so that's the process that you're looking at, right? Is you're going to, for yourself, you're going to focus on, okay, I'm going to, you know, let's say I've got a cold, right? So I'm, I've got the common cold. I'm going to highlight all of the, the cold cells of my body, all the cold virus of my body. And most of it we're going to find is like mostly in your head. And it's like, oh, look, it's all active. It's in my sinuses. Yay. Cause that's where colds grow. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's existing in other places of my body and okay, I'm just going to light them all up and then I'm just going <laughs> to, and I'm going to suck them out and I'm going <sighs> to burn them up in flame, right? Like breathe fire onto them. And that's the simple process, right? It's not difficult uh, when you're not feeling well, it can feel difficult though. This is the challenge with healing yourself is that you're not feeling well. So I would really encourage you that the moment you start to not feel well is when you do this rather than waiting until you're fully sick, because by the time you're fully sick, getting your energy up to be able to do this is very difficult. Okay. And at which point you should really talk to somebody else and have them do the work for you. Um, so hopefully that helps. And, uh, you know, like subscribe, rate, please help me get noticed if you found this useful. Uh, and, uh, you know, share this with your friends and that, that would be really awesome. And I would appreciate it. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.